Assalamu alaikum my dear students, my name is Muhammad Numan. How are you my dear students? I hope you will be fine. Welcome to Advanced English Grammar. In today's video we are going to talk about here the model verb supposed to. Where we can use supposed to correctly. Let me tell you one thing here, we use supposed to in many different ways. But here we will be talking about only three ways in which the model verb supposed to is used. So let's talk about this. First we have to talk about the structure of this. Form B plus supposed to plus main verb. We use supposed to with B verbs. B verbs here they are is, am, are, was and were. They are called the B words. With only the B words will be used with the model verb supposed to. We cannot use do verbs or have words with supposed to. At the beginning of the model verb supposed to, we will use only be words. Okay? And after this, only the base form of the verb will be used. The root form of the verb, the main verb will be used. No ing form, second form or third form of the verb will not be used with supposed to. Only the base form of the verb will be used over there. Okay, the first usage of supposed to. Why we use supposed to? We use supposed to for duty, responsibility as well as for obligation. The first example here is that for example, you are supposed to listen during the lecture, not talk. For example, I am giving there a lecture to the students and the students, they are talking among themselves. So I tell to those students, listen carefully you should not talk here i'm talking here about the duty the responsibility of the students we use in that case supposed another example here is that i am supposed to give a speech next week remember this point we also use supposed to for the future. Now look at here, I have used the expression here next week. But the structure will be, the form will be the present. We cannot say here, I will supposed to give a speech next week. Not at all. Only the present form the structure will be used but that will give us the future meaning because I have used here next week and I am supposed to give a speech next week so it gives us the meaning about the future not the present so far the future we also use supposed to and for the negativity, for the negative things, when something is not allowed, when something is prohibited, we also use over there supposed to. For example, you are not supposed to smoke in here. It means smoking is prohibited here. It is not allowed. For the prohibition, we use supposed to. And another way in which the model verb supposed to is used for intention or for purpose. What is the purpose? What is the intention of something? 
we use for that purpose also supposed to for example sorry I have left uh, one example here how can we make the question regarding supposed to what am I supposed to do what am I supposed to do no I'm making here the recommendation the suggestion I'm telling to my friends that what should I do here what to do here for the <coughs> for the intention for the purpose we also use supposed to sorry but am or oh, what am I supposed to do I'm making here the suggestion we also use for the suggestion for the recommendation supposed to now here we will talking about the intention or for the purpose we also use supposed to what am what is calculator supposed to do it means what is the purpose of calculator what is the intention what is the purpose so the answer is it is supposed to help you to do mathematical calculation correctly so it is the purpose of this we use supposed to in this case also now here when something is expected for the expectations we also use supposed to for example what am i supposed to write in a cover letter what is the demand what is required to write over there in a cover letter for the expectation we use supposed to another example it wasn't supposed to rain today so here expectation and uh, again we used another example for the expectation so we use uh, the model word supposed to in these three different ways these are very important and remember this point we use supposed to with the base form of the verb and another uh, point here is very important we use supposed to with be words uh, with do verbs or with half verbs we uh, do not use supposed to we use supposed to only with be words okay and another point supposed to what is the pronunciation of this pronunciation of this we in the spoken English we dropped we drop D and we just pronounce this word suppose suppose to it is not pronounced supposed because it is difficult to pronounce we just pronounce supposed to okay so this is the uh, pronunciation of this uh, model verb so at the end I would say spread the useful knowledge this is our channel name and share these videos with your friends and with your relatives through whatsapp messenger and Facebook that would be very kind of you. Thanks a lot of you. Thanks a lot.